The International Labour Organization is calling for domestic work to be recognised as skilled labour, with regulated hours drawing at least minimum wage. The UN agency said that this is a new report as it marks uh, Inter International Domestic Workers Day. I interviewed over a thousand domestic workers here in Singapore as well as in Malaysia and Thailand. And it found that foreign domestic workers in Thailand receive little labor protection, making them vulnerable to exploitation. CNA's Mei Wong tells us more. Chan Pa was only 17 years old when she left her home country of Myanmar to work as a domestic worker in Thailand. Over the past 30 years that she's been here, the 47-year-old has been fortunate enough to have worked with good employers except for the very first household she was hired in. It's because the sexual abuse from the, the employer, the, the male employer, so I felt not safe in that house. Yeah, from that on, so I just ran away. I didn't even take a salary for 22 days. But we do have the Ministry of Labor, which protects domestic workers, but it's just in the paper. I feel like, you know, this has to be in practice also, not just on the paper. Let's say the domestic worker should have uh, in the paper. It says in the, by the law, we get uh, one day off per uh, week. But in reality, there's many, many domestic workers who do not get day off still and then a minimum wage, you know, it's not applied to our domestic workers. Apart from the one day off a week, Thai law also entitles migrant domestic workers to paid sick leave days every year. However, they're excluded from national labour laws such as social security schemes, relevant compensation and the ability to negotiate wages like workers in other sectors. Chang Pa is working in Thailand legally and therefore knows her rights and also is signed up to important schemes such as having proper health insurance. But there are thousands who are not working in Thailand legally and therefore do not know their rights and also are afraid of getting deported. Therefore, workers like her are trying to speak up on their behalf in order to have the authorities pay more attention to this group of workers and also to offer them more protection because they do contribute significantly to the Thai economy. This echoes the call being made this year by the International Labour Organization. The UN agency says that tens of millions of domestic workers employed in homes around the world are at the foundation of society's well-being. There are no businesses, there is no accumulated wealth, there is no profit without domestic work. They are critical in all of our economies. They are vital, they are at the heart of everything. They are, of course, also themselves workers. And as workers and as wage earners, they make massive contributions in remittances to their families, in their home countries, in their home communities. And they also make contributions to our own families. There's a strong correlation between the availability of domestic workers and the ability of women like ourselves to join the workforce. So their contributions cannot be underestimated, which is why we say there can be no social justice across this region without social justice for domestic workers. The ILO hopes that Thai authorities will therefore provide better protection for migrant domestic workers by introducing a government scheme to detect abusers and making first-time employers undergo a compulsory orientation program. A civil society organization, Migrant Working Group, which has been working with foreign domestic workers, warns the lack of adequate worker protection has also often led to rendering them illegals. ปัญหาของแรงงานข้ามชาติก็คือว่าเวลาถูกเลิกจ้างปุ๊บเนี่ยมันมีเงื่อนไขที่ต้องหางานใหม่เนี่ยมันก็ค่อนข้างตามค่
We certainly have anecdotal evidence that there are many more potential migrant workers here and that unfortunately means many more people willing to accept lower wages and worse working conditions. This influx of people very reasonably escaping very serious situation in Myanmar is unfortunately also creating an additional risk for migrant workers in Thailand. In all, Thailand is home to at least 2.7 million documented migrant workers from countries such as Myanmar and Cambodia. Almost 128,000 of them are legal migrant domestic workers. Thai authorities are planning to amend some laws to offer more protection to foreign domestic workers, such as stipulating working hours and for them to receive at least minimum wage. The government tells CNA that it does recognize that more can be done to better protect migrant domestic workers. With the new government expected by August, it's hoped the next administration will accelerate the long overdue reforms for foreign domestic workers. May Wong, CNA, Bangkok.